All right, guys, just like that, we are back, and today we are going to work on the drift car. I'm excited to get this thing dialed in and on the road, so that's what we're going to do in this video. But all right, guys. I don't know if I'm really going to detail of what I'm actually going to do, so I might put you on the time lapse, put you on the tripod, whatever, and just let you guys see me get this thing ready to go, and then let's just go out and have fun. But that's really what it's about. I imagine you would rather see actually running footage of this thing instead of just like me, you know, getting it ready to be ran. But as far as the motor and the ECU setup on this thing, or the ESC on this, I have no idea what this is. He said he spent like 50 bucks on it. It looks pretty budget and I'm okay with that. And it's running, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> it feels pretty bad. Fly Sky, I mean, I don't know. It's uh, what was I, uh, FS GT3B, I don't know what this thing is. It feels pretty bad, but when you're used to a higher end radio, all radios feel bad. I have a video about, you know, should you spend money on a higher end radio? And the answer is yes, yes, you should. <laughs> but um, for something I'm just gonna leave in the car and pull out and drive around, um, I definitely don't want a $600 radio. So this is gonna work out great for what I want it for. But yeah, I'm going to time lapse me getting this thing ready and then we're gonna go drive it. I can't lie, it feels really good to be back in the RC car room, finally. Yeah, I know nothing about this brand or anything, but we are going to give it a shot. I've actually, it's a fairly, I don't like to say cheap, but we'll say a fairly affordable kit. This thing is in like the $100 range, and I do believe it's like the low $100 range. So I'm pretty sure he said he had about 300 bucks in the whole entire car, and I can see that, you know. That radio cannot be that expensive, or transmitter, whatever you want to say. And this uh, this uh, ESC and motor doesn't look very expensive either. So, and this battery looks, I don't know, kind of like an Amazon special or something. But we're going to glue that little spot up, and we're going to use it. So, I am digging the RC, the RX-7 body though. That's so cool. I think that's, I've never really got into like tent scale cars, but I'm like super pumped too because I like having car bodies because I'm a big car guy. So we'll sit this to the side and go ahead and get this thing dialed in. guys I'm nowhere near finished <laughs> I kind of forgot all about doing the time lapse and everything but I did make some progress um, I got the I'll just show you check it out this is better than me trying to explain I got the body mounts roughly where they need to be they still need to be adjusted a little bit uh, I got the rear ones on there these are here the little magnet or little metal plates that kind of stick down there so I got to glue those to the back side of the body um, got the front end looking a whole lot better there was like a little shim or a spacer right here. Uh, it's probably just like uh, maybe like a mill. 
Hmm, that's never a good sound. But anyway, yeah, there's like these two little shims right here. I kind of took those out to pull the wheels in more because they were sticking way outside the body. Um, but see, so you kind of still got to adjust a little bit, but as you can tell, that's looking a whole lot better. Uh, kind of put a little zip tie right there. Just kind of tuck the, the wire up for the on and off switch. Can't really do too much with it. And I'm going to zip tie these guys right here so they'll be out of the way. The battery, I still haven't looked into that. I'm going to kind of figure out what I'm going to do. Maybe move this plate forward or something like that to keep the battery out of the, the gear. But yeah, right now the problem I'm having is like I'm trying to get the body position correct so the car looks the best. But the shocks, I mean the fluid in them, like that's all the way to the to the uh, workbench. It is just super, super stiff. So... I'm going to take the shocks apart and put some softer fluid in them because that's just, I mean, they don't even rebound. I mean, it's just, yeah, so, yeah, enough, <laughs> enough of me rambling about it. But yeah, I'm going to knock that out real quick. Um, I'm just going to go with a lighter fluid. I'll probably put like, I don't even know, maybe like a, maybe like 20 in or something like that. I don't know. Something a little on the softer side because these springs seem like dead. You know, the only bottle that come with this thing was like 5,000. And I'm like, I'm, I'm hoping this dude didn't put like 5,000 like diff oil in the shocks. But anyway, I'm just going to dump it out and just put some softer fluid in there. That way the car will actually have some suspension and will work. That way I can get the body on there because, you know, once you get the car fully loaded with everything and you put the body on there and you push down the suspension and like it just never comes, it doesn't rebound back up. It just stays drooped down. So I need to get that fixed first so I can actually get the body on here. And uh, figure it out if I'm wrong with these wings or not. So, not, not a big wing on cars type of guy, but this is a toy car. It's an RC car, so it's supposed to look cool. But yeah, I'm going to get that knocked out real quick. And uh, next time you see me, I will show you everything done and we'll be ready to run this thing. So, wish me luck. All right, guys, this is actually the next day. Had to wait for those little magnets to like dry when I had to glue them to the body. But. I think it's coming along pretty good. Looks like a monster truck though. But that's kind of as low as I can get it. Yeah, we're going to throw this thing down real quick and see if I can actually drive it. So, yeah, it's a pretty decent angle. It's very loose. <laughs> racing off-road this is uh not very exciting <laughs> cool looking though if i can do a little sweet quick sweep past the camera it's almost like my real driving is falling out <laughs> might help with raw control though. Just very sensitive. You get on it at all, it stands out. I think I need more front grip. Yeah, yeah I, about to say, I don't know. This is just the way it was when I got it. I don't think, I think yeah, I think those are all rear wheels. Yeah. I don't think the plastic wheel up front is the good way to go. It just pushes. Yeah. See how back pushes? some rubber wheels. Yeah. 
hooks really bad, but I might try that. I have to buy them, but I don't have any. You can't go straight at all. Yeah, there's no going straight. No going straight. goes like a mile an hour. <laughs> it's, it's really difficult. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to expect because I've never even really, I see guys at like car meets playing with these things, but I've never had one or don't even want to have one. So it doesn't feel like it needs more front grip. It just like pushes. So I think we like some tires in the front they'll actually grip would be pretty good yeah I'm not very good at this huh. yeah guys you might see this thing a little bit more work with it try to get dialed in I have another uh, motor and uh, you know speed controller and everything I might throw on here to try so I can make it a little faster but you can't even really go straight with it at all like you try to give it any bit of throttle it just spins out but all right, just want to make a quick little video about this thing, but uh, appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one, guys.